We are learning the lesson compound interest and let us understand how to solve problems based on population using the formula of amount. Now this formula of amount is called the compound interest law. Okay, this is known as compound interest law. Let us understand it further. Let's say if the population of a town increases steadily by 2% per annum Okay, the population is increasing by 2% per annum at the beginning of the year. So the yearly growth factor, you know, that the population is increasing, right? So it's a growth factor. And so the yearly growth factor is 1 plus R by 100. That R represents the rate of increase. So we have replaced that value. So it is 1 plus 2 by 100. When you simplify it further, you will get it as 1.02. Okay, and so the population after n years. Okay, we do not know how many years, but let's say the population after n years is 1.02 to the power n. This is taken from the formula of amount. Right, and the population after n years is 1.02 to the power n times the population at the beginning of that period. At the beginning is 2 times, I hope you don't mind it. And the population after n years is 1.02 to the power n times the population of the beginning of that period. Now suppose if the population decreases by 2%. Right? If the population decreases, that means there would be a negative factor, right? Then the yearly decay factor, okay, we call it as decay factor, would be 1 minus R by 100. Remember this, it will be a negative factor or decay factor. That is why we have subtracted it, 1 minus 2 by 100. When you simplify it, you will get it as 0 0.98. So we have got two factors here, growth factor and decay factor. Okay, remember these two factors, growth factor is positive and decay factor is negative. Okay, suppose I will just explain to you how do we get the growth factor. Many of you know how to solve this, but I would just like to show it here for those who still do not know it. So 1 plus 2 by 100, we find the LCM. We multiply with 100, 1 to get 100. And that's why we write 100 over there and 100 into how much will be the 100 LCM? 100 into 1 will be 100 LCM. Same number 1 will multiply with 2. So 100 plus 2 is 102 by 100. Okay, 102 by 100. We can keep it as fraction. 102 by 100 okay mostly actually we keep it as fraction but if you want to simplify it further if you simplify then you will get it as 1.02 okay I hope you understood how we got this growth factor how we calculated the growth factor now let me explain to you how did we calculate the decay factor Decay means what? Decrease in population. Growth factor, increase in population. 1 minus 2 by 100. By default, the first fraction will have 1 as denominator. LCM is 100. You know how to solve it, right? 1 into 100. You write 100. Now, remember, it's decay factor, so it will be minus. 100 into how much will be 100? 100 into 1. So, 2 into 1 is 2. 100 minus 2 will be how much 98 right 98 by 100 and you can keep this fraction as it is 98 by 100 or if you simplify it further you will get it as 0 0.98 okay so 0 0.98 is the decay factor and growth factor is 1.02 I hope you have understood till here. Now let us see one example. Let us see how to 
solve a problem based on population if the population of a town decreases what is decrease decay factor right 6.25 percent annually and the present population is 2 crore 4 lakh 80,000 right what do we have to do we have to find the population after three years let's start solving it so what do we have to find we have to find the required population we'll use the same formula of amount but remember that this is decreased so we'll use the decay factor 1 minus r by 100 okay, I hope you get this right In, because it's a decay factor because the population is decreasing that's why it's a decay factor so we'll be using 1 minus r by 100 and how much is the rate of decrease 6.25 some represent this as a d i have just represented or written it as r okay and n that is years so n is equal to three years therefore population after three years is how much 2 crore 4 lakh 80,000 right we'll just replace the value this is this is the principal then 1 minus the decrease rate or decay factor is 6.25 by 100 to the power n n is 3 years okay so what we will do next is we will remove the decimal point from 6.25.25 is the hundredth place so I will just show you here how did we get that 6.25 we have to remove the decimal it is on the hundredth place so we write it as 625 by 100 okay 625 by 100 and the hundred that is there in the denominator we multiply it so 625 by 100 into 100 that is why we got as 625 divided by 10,000 okay let us simplify let us solve it further now when you solve 1 minus 625 by 10,000 you will get it as 1 minus 1 by 16 let me explain to you how did we get that 1 minus 625 by 10,000 let us simplify it you can cancel this when you cancel it 65 into 16 is 10,000 that is how we got it as 1 minus 1 by 16 okay it's not hard you just have to know to solve it and you can get the answer exactly how it is now let me show you how to solve 1 minus 1 by 16 we have already learned this before 1 minus 1 by 16 to the power n that is 3 so 1 minus 1 by 16 by default or the first fractions denominator is 1 LCM is 16 and 1 into how much will be 16 1 into 16 is 16 we'll multiply the same 16 with the numerator 1 16 is 16 we write 16 minus 16 into how much will be 16 16 into 1 is 16 same number we multiply with the numerator we get it as 1 now we'll simplify it further 16 minus 1 is 15 and so we get it as 15 by 16 to the power 3 okay instead of changing into decimals we'll just keep it as fraction so 2 crore 4 lakh 80,000 into 1 minus 1 by 16 is 15 by 16 right so I've written as 15 by 16 to the power 3 
Uh, that simply means what? We have to multiply the fraction three times. And so that's what I'll be doing there. 15 by 16 into 15 by 16 into 15 by 16. Okay, as simple as this. We just write it as we're multiplying it three times. Now we'll simplify it further. We'll calculate and we'll solve it. And after solving it, you will get the answer as 1 crore 68 lakh and 75,000. Therefore, the population after three years will be 1 crore 68 lakh and 75,000. I hope you have understood this. You can just go back through the video and see it again. Keep practicing. That's what I say every time. There's a homework for you. If the population of a town decreases 5% decay factor, right, annually, and the present population is 1,29,600, what do you have to find? You have to find its population after 2 years. I hope you can do this. Keep practicing and keep learning.